Right now at 6, phone service out in all kinds of places today across the Mahoning Valley. Repair crews with AT&T have been working to try and fix the problem that affected some local government offices and even non-emergency police lines. 27 First News senior reporter Jerry Ricciuti did some checking to see what law enforcement does to ensure calls can get through and learned how this all started. It's our top story at 6. Although 911 lines have been functioning as they should today, a number of local government centers and non-emergency police lines around the valley have been down, some for most of the day. A severed fiber optic line is getting the blame. So many redundancies built in the system. Whenever, whenever there is a break in a line, uh, we have so many backup plans in place. Under an agreement, many of the calls for service from around Mahoning County come into either Boardman's or Austin Town's dispatching centers and can then be rerouted to local communities. But the chief tells me there is another alternative. A series of cell phones purchased through AT&T FirstNet can be used when other systems go down. FirstNet's a subsidiary of AT&T. Uh, it came about after 9-11 um, when there needed to be a priority network for um, first responders. The chief says long breakdowns are rare, but there can be routine maintenance work done during periods when call volume is usually low, such as the early morning hours. Backup plans are in place for those as well. You and I don't know that our phones aren't working for that very short period of time. Here, obviously, we have to have that in place 24 hours, you know, seven days a week here. A spokesperson with AT&T tells us this week's severe weather caused the outage problems, but they can't say yet when service will be fully restored. Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News. We have a list of the communities dealing with this outage. You can find them in this story at WKBN.com.